What's up folks, it's Dr. Remy LeBeau and I'm coming at you once again from the x to provide you my reaction thoughts, uh, overall joy uh, from episode 5 of The Defenders season 1. Uh, the awesome continues. We had a couple of really great moments in this episode. The first one, of course, being the reemergence of Daredevil in his costume and seeing him fight side by side with Jessica Jones. That was fucking awesome. I fucking love that scene. Um, the establishment of Daredevil as the leader, I think, was an important move as well. Like we've established him as a group and now, you know, they need a leader. And definitely um, Matt Murdock is the guy to lead them. But he's got a secret and it's the Electra secret. So... The episode really did focus on the whole Electra thing um, a, a good amount, which is good because that that's a super important story thread that needed to be fleshed out. Like, obviously, in season two of Daredevil, beyond the Punisher stuff, all the Electra stuff was like at the heart of that, you know, kind of Matt Murdock's past with her and his love with her and then her and then her death that he partly blames himself for. And now she's back, right? And she doesn't have a soul or whatever. Uh, but, you know, there are remnants of her in there. And so we have to kind of let that play out, like her kind of uh, remembering or maybe not remembering her past and like what that means to her. Uh, in contrast to also what's happening with Matt, you know, and like uh, him getting sucked back into this like fight against the hand, but also having to deal with like the reality of like, Here's my ex-girlfriend that I love who's been brought back from the dead who is not herself, you know, and is not the person I love. But maybe, you know, for him, like, there's the whole struggle of him trying to figure out if he can bring her back. And that's sort of being somewhat in conflict with, like, what's going on with the defenders themselves. Like, you know, uniting to stop the hand. Like, so his revelation of, you know, his past with her and who she is to them uh, was a super important also step to getting them to accept and completely trust him and and ultimately letting him become the leader because you know obviously secrets amongst them um aren't too uh, good anyway uh so that stuff was really great loved it we had that really great scene in the police station where like all the supporting characters in the netflix universe uh are 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 coming together like the defenders came together as a team but, you know, in their own sort of sub-team, right? They're all together now. You got Trish and um, Jessica Jones' uh, neighbor kid. Uh, you've got uh, Missy Jones. You've got Claire. You've got um, Karen. You've got Froggy. I, like, oh, you've got um, Colleen. Like, everybody's there. And, like, even though they don't have superpowers, like, collectively, they are a force to be reckoned with as well. And, like, it's definitely something that shouldn't be ignored and i'm glad this series is sort of paying homage to them as like being not just like great supporting characters and central to like the lives of these characters but also kind of pivotal and powerful in their own sense as just individual people uh who are just really rich characters that we've you know come to know via the individual uh superhero storylines via their respective um series i i'm glad they did that and i hope they continues on and i hope we don't lose anybody in the process um and then of course we had the, finally the f well at least the four fingers of the hand that could be there coming together we had the the reemergence of colleen wing's um uh mentor who we thought was dead uh he's back um and of course he's he's uh still sort of you know infatuated with Colleen so that appears to be something that's going to be partly potentially an Achilles heel for him nonetheless um you have these four these four fingers of the hand that um are powerful and obviously uh want different things it appears uh miss miss uh, uh, everybody everybody besides uh um What's her name? Uh, Sigourney Weaver's character, Alexandra. They I, it appears that they want to return to Kun Loon. Like they want to be return. They want to return to their home that they were cast out of so long ago. But it appears that Sigourney Weaver's character is simply looking to extend her life. Uh, and also given that it appears that she has some terminal illness, so 
so there's a conflict in there but like I, together they are also a force to be reckoned with so it was cool to get like an intimate scene with them sort of talking out their individual issues and like us getting to know them a little bit more uh, individually but also collectively like who are these people together like w you know what is the true intention um, behind what they do we get a little bit more of that um, and so we had a lot of really great sort of pivotal kind of like team up scenes of like the good guys the bad guys the supporting guys and then also kind of like the the uh, following of the Electra story and kind of letting that flesh itself out so that we can you know feel like not just that this is obviously connected to like um, the other series via the hand storyline, but really uh, get to uh, continue the emotional journey of Matt Murdock um, in his relationship with Electra, which is super pivotal to um, who Matt Murdock is, who Daredevil is, at least you know post the the the, the storylines in the comic books that that um that frank miller wrote that a lot of this is sort of inspired by um which has sort of informed which has informed like a lot of what of what daredevil is today um so it's really important that that is always sort of central to the stories that are being told in this netflix universe anyway that's episode five we have three episodes to go i'm gonna watch the next one because why because i've been waiting a long time for this and i'm really enjoying myself so i'm gonna keep going anyway i'll be back soon to post the next uh, sort of review reaction etc and uh i hope you're having as much fun as i am watching this show because it's fucking awesome and and we're so lucky to have shit like this it's so good i'm so happy i hope eventually we get some interaction between this and the movie universe because there was again mention of the incident i mean that's the stuff that happened in avengers one with the jatari um so so uh you know it, we are in the same universe even though it hasn't it hasn't been explicitly acknowledged in the films yet but we'll see i mean this i mean we're talking about like spider-man peter parker being in this world as well i mean how exciting is that like just the the thought of like spider-man being out there as well and maybe spider-man daredevil eventually teaming up against the kingpin because that would be fucking dope i hope that happens anyway punisher's out there too hopefully he pops up we'll see Three more episodes to go. Thanks for checking out my video. If you haven't already done so, subscribe somewhere. And as always, I'd like to remind you, if you haven't already, put an X in that box. Um, you should because, well, you ain't going to check me. Thank you very much. See you soon. Bye-bye.